Hey, what's up, guys? Camp in Russia here. The summer update just dropped. It's 3.15 in the morning, but man, we got lots. Marshmallow is spoiling pleasant returning new weapons. New skins coming in the next few weeks. I got to talk fast. We got lots of news to go over. First, we've got the official loading screen, the key art. Uh, for the summer event. You can already see some of the new skins in there. I'm telling you right away, they crushed it with the skins. We've got some good original skins. Yes, we see Skinny Guff. I believe he's Unstuffed Guff. That's the official name of this guy. New mini-map. At this point, there are not many map changes. Maybe little ones around the map. I'll fill you in on those tomorrow. So subscribe, turn your noties on. Uh, you guys, it, there's just other stuff to talk about, and I'm not seeing major map changes. There are major map changes coming. I know about them. I'm saving that for a future video as well. One of the big changes is the new shotgun. It looks like this was our codename Overload Shotgun that we've been waiting for for a while. And I will throw uh, gameplay right away so you can hear it, and, and, th and then I can tell you how it works. I think this thing's going to be decent. Here's how it works. Semi-auto shotgun. It's called the prime shotgun, by the way. The deals increased damage when the weapon is fully loaded. So you, you, I don't, and the reload time is 4.5 seconds. That's probably total. So yeah, if it's fully loaded, you're going to do a lot more damage. And I think that was demonstrated there in the clip. Cool concept. It, it seems like it packs a punch. I saw 185 in that clip. So uh, close to one pump, a lot of damage. Let me know how it feels. Let me know in the comment section below. Another item that's already in game are the new ice cream consumables. I am just going based off the names here. Freeze, Guzzle, Chug, and Spicy. I'm sure we can understand what all those are going to give us. Speed, uh, Whites, uh, Blue or Whites, the Chug, of course, and then Freeze. Uh, I don't know if that gives you the Freeze effect, or I would assume. That's just a guess. Now, we will be able to vote at a funding station for the building we want to see at Tilted Towers. Not sure if this is in game yet. Downtime's just finishing up, so, so I'm, I'm not 100%, but regardless, I, we get to show off all the different options. It's uh, lot A, lot B, lot C. They each have three options. Uh, right away, what are you going to vote for? I'm scrolling through some of the options, some HD shots, and then also we got this uh, total, right? All, all of them in one picture. And I'm going to have to look at them a little bit more. I can't decide right away. But I love this. I love that we get to control the map changes. That's just something brand new and good little feature. Let's look at the new skins. The No Sweat Insurance skin has finally arrived. I believe he's an NPC as well. This apparently, according to the NPC description, this is the leader of No Sweat Insurance. And I believe they're the ones building the stage right now for the summer event, summer stuff. We'll talk more about that stage in a second. It looks like we know what's happening concert-wise. Uh, other new skins. Uh, I'll put the names up in, names up on your screen here in a second. But let's just do the uh, just the full body image, basically. Riptide Raz is in game. He's got a bunch of different customizations, uh, showing you at least a couple examples, and then you can see on the side, uh, you know, what what customizations you can do. Here's all of them together. All the new outfits. Not all full emblems. It's a little messy, I know. That's part of the update night videos, though. I think they did a good job. What is your favorite out of all of these? I'm, of course, going to go with Unstuffed Guff. I believe that's the name of him, right? Yeah, Unstuffed Guff. Guff is one of my... Stuffed Guff is one of my favorite skins in the game. So I, of course, have to get his brother. I will be rocking these soon. Thanks to everyone using code Camp and Rusher in the item shop. It helps more than you know. Here's a full image of the Terrabound variant for Kari and her cosmetics. This was related to the Galaxy Cup, remember? Um, we were debating uh, first, you know, seeing what this variant looked like, but would the variant be for the uh, Galaxy Cup Android guys, uh, the winners only? Nope, it's coming to the item shop soon and you will be able to get both this variant and the original. So no uh, OG special variant, you know, I wouldn't even be against it, but that they didn't do it. So sorry for you Android guys who were able to win this thing in the Galaxy Cup. And then here's all the new emotes. 
uh, showcase with unstuffed guff, of course. Not gonna put audio on just in case. There's probably no copyright, but we're, we're just being safe, ladies and gentlemen. We're just being safe. But you, you get an idea of the visual, what they're gonna look like. Some will be attached to the summer quest. We are gonna talk summer rewards here, don't you worry. Uh, first, here's a look at the new customizable pickaxes for the Fortnite crew. So these are coming soon, well of course for next month for August, and it seems we're also going to get this, uh, us crew members, Huddle Sree style for the ice blasted snow crunch em back bling. So uh, th this is what we gotta figure out. So first, um, these, these are the no sweat summer quest rewards. These are not live yet, challenges are not live yet, but this is all the free summer rewards that you can get, at least that we know about so far. There, there's probably more of them. This is what's in the file so far. And then yes, that that back bling I just told you about. Um, I, I'm just I'm not 100% how this is going to work, but I, I think the back bling will be available for everybody. But there'll be an exclusive style that I just showed you uh, for the crew members, uh, or it's the you know the back bling's just for crew members. It's one of the two, but it sounds like it's the just the style we get exclusively there'll be a challenge for it something like that and yes that includes the new sweaty sailor umbrella that's the free reward for the summer quest as well uh, that's probably my favorite reward that i've seen and again not sure if there's going to be skin i'm sure there's going to be a skin we just haven't seen it yet i will of course keep you updated once we know more the locker archiving feature is officially enabled basically i think what this means is you can uh hide items that you're never going to use you purchased a while ago you're never going to use them they're just taking up space in your in your locker so they add epic added this little feature here are all the npcs that were added to the map in 21.3 uh beach bomber unpeely the underwriter is the name of that no sweat skin uh no sweat insurance a summer drift and boardwalk ruby now the final thing i have for you is once that stage is complete the one that's being built uh in the water there we, we've talked about it in the past the no sweat insurance guys are, are building that thing once that's complete we, we, there's going to be a concert. It's basically con confirmed we are getting a concert based on some stuff in the files. But who's the concert going to be, right? We've talked about uh, Billie Eilish being a possi possibility. Yeah, people mentioned Travis Scott, uh, Juice World's management team. They've confirmed they're working with them in the past. Uh, and we haven't seen what that collab's going to be. But earlier today, as the downtime started, Marshmallow tweeted, I miss Pleasant Park. And, you know, at first, I miss it too, right? I, I miss it too, but when I tweet something, it, it, probably, it probably wouldn't have the same uh, significance for us guys looking for anything we can, Fortnite leak-wise. In the Shade replied to this saying, now's a good time to mention that Epic has been testing new stuff for a music event, right? The stage there. Uh, and remember, Marshmello's first concert was at Pleasant Park in Fortnite. So that's why this kind of all ties together. And man, I've just been waiting for this thing to come back. Finally... There's also this, a new Reality Bloom map icon. It's basically what we've had so far, but it's upside down. And uh, at first, okay, what does this mean? What could this mean? Uh, Akko says this, wait, this is actually kind of suspicious. This is a wild guess, but what if they bring back a POI from the flip side? And with that, you know, we're reaching a little bit here. Maybe chapter two version of Pleasant Park. I don't think Marshmallow's just tweeting this to say he misses it. Uh, just as the update drops, just as we get music event files, it, it, it seems like too big of a coincidence. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Touch that like button. Take care. Talk soon. Goodbye.